LeBron James and the LA Lakers against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. A combined seven NBA titles and six MVP awards between the two of them. And the Warriors at 20 and 19 and in ninth place in the West. Here's James with a lob to Damian Jones making his third straight start. Been a much bigger factor as a starter than he was coming off the bench. He's a guy that can score in the absence of Anthony Davis. They need Kyle Kuzma and Morris to be aggressive scorers. They go to Jones again, defended by Looney. Here's LeBron now on the switch. He's got Looney on the perimeter. And James trying to drive. They go to Jones again, defended by Looney. Here's LeBron now on the switch. He's got Looney on the perimeter. And James trying to drive. Here's LeBron picked up by Wiggins near midcourt. And a steal by Curry. Been a factor on both ends so far. Curry goes to the other side, missed the layup. Yeah. Lakers playing again without Anthony Davis. It's their 11th consecutive game. They've had to do that, and they're four and six during that span. And he'll be out at least a couple of more weeks as James misses his first attempt of the game. And you asked Steph uh, today when we spoke to him via Zoom about his relationship with LeBron and how it's developed over the years, going back to when James first watched. And you asked Steph uh, today when we spoke to him via Zoom about his relationship with LeBron and how it's developed over the years, going back to when James first watched. Now LeBron James has had so much on his shoulders. The original injury was in mid-February against Denver, and at the time the Lakers said he would miss four weeks, and we're about at that four-week mark right now. Lakers down one midway through the opening quarter at Chase Center in San Francisco. James blows past Looney, hangs and puts it off the glass and in. Nice shot by Horton Tucker, second year pro out of Iowa State. He's had a really good year off the bench for the Lakers. Curry pulls up his three off the mark. Make him a jump shooter. It's a tough guard for James Wiseman who picks up the foul. Dave Pash, Mark Jackson coming to you from our homes. Lakers and Warriors battling in downtown San Francisco. Lakers had the last couple of days off. They beat Indiana in their last game on Friday in their first game after the All-Star break. The basketball and trying to get two bad shots. Just get a quality look. There's Matthews draining a three, and boy, that's a welcome sight. He has not had a great offensive start to this season. And with great shooters, they have the opportunity to extend their career. Steph Curry, just like Tom Brady and LeBron James, is when Tucker knocks down the lane. A great shooting friend of mine, Reggie Miller, had an opportunity to play for the Boston Celtics and turned it down after he had quit playing. So if you can shoot, you can find a job in this league. I'm telling this business, there's no shame in my game. He wanted to end his career on his own terms and wearing the blue and yellow. Just how much more physical he is now and the type of shape and condition that he's in. He said he's never felt better. What a, a good defensive play there by Golden State. You know, Curry obviously barely played last year. You wonder where his condition would be this year. He says it's phenomenal. We'll see where uh, that, you know, for Steph Curry, how long he goes. James soars to the rim and flushes it. Arrow picks up the foul on the other end, his second. Oubre misses the free throw. 73% free throw shooter. His awesome. Alfonso McKinney is on the floor. Talked about the Lakers having a, a lot of injuries and players in the health and safety protocol as James trying to shake. Mannion gets off a three and comes up short. McKinney, though, with the rebound. That was LeBron's first three point attempt of the game, and Nico Mannion holding his own here against James. LeBron falling away, drops it in as the buzzer sounds. Oubre battling, and the ball ends up in Harrell's hands, and James pushing it ahead. Here's Kuzma slashing and scoring. LeBron, just five shot attempts, nine points. He does have five assists and four rebounds. Kuzma up top. His three is there. Final seconds of the half. James gets it knocked away by Curry. Two seconds to go from the hash mark. Good! Third foul on Looney. Here's James from outside. No good on the three, but it caroms right to him. 
Third foul on Looney. Here's James from outside. No good on the three, but it caroms right to him. Thought he did a better job earlier putting his head down and attacking the paint. Won't let Looney off the hook. Here he falls away against Looney and cans it. Here's Curry with a nice pass inside. Ball's batted around and out to Caldwell Pope. With Wiggins on his hip, he's able to score. Got off to a quiet start, but Wiggins now up to eight points. By the way, Steph Curry got his second assist on the game, making him the all-time assist king in Warrior history as James connects on a fall away. The Lakers send two guys to him. Good half-court D. Oubre again penetrates and loses it. But the problem on that possession, Oubre had an open three, turned it down. Draymond Green had an open three, turned it down. So it's a six-point swing, and the Lakers match their largest lead of the night. Draymond Green comes back and misfires, and LeBron James grabs his sixth rebound. He has eight assists. What would be your mindset if you were playing with Steph Curry or LeBron James playing off of their greatness? And I think LeBron James definitely got the defensive help tonight. Steph, they're still trying to find it. Yeah, James with 15 points, eight assists, six rebounds, misses that fall away. Watching in the league, but James Harden, you know, finding an appreciation for his game in a new way this year. Just joining that new team in the middle of a season with so much change. Two guys near and dear to me, their family. Two guys I absolutely love. And I wouldn't be sitting there today had, to, had I not played for Coach Patino and played alongside of. I sat there watching both games with my remote in my hand, with tears in my eyes. The appreciation, the love, and how proud I was of the accomplishment of both guys. <laughs> Very similar. Here's Harrell inside with a slam. Another assist for LeBron James. Kuzma gets a defender to fly by. Here's James into the paint, and he turns it over. Look at this if you're Bob Myers, the general manager, with the trade deadline over the next 10 days. Are you pretty active, or are you saying, you know what, we, we like our young piece at least a couple more weeks. LeBron James, 15 points on just 11 shot attempts. He has 10 assists tonight to go with eight rebounds. They, they have more playmakers around him than they did last year. Dennis Schroeder, a lot different player than Danny Green, and that was one of the moves that was made in the offseason. He's able to play on the floor because he's, he's too good to, to tease me. He's, he's better than the six man of the year award is what I'm trying to say. Does he feel that way? Here's James for three. It's good. His first triple of the night, and it's a 25-point lead. Uh, you, you see a lot of guys that came from the G League are getting a chance now with the, the, the bigger clubs looking a lot more confident in their ability. A lot more confident in their ability. They do a tremendous job in the G League of developing talent and giving guys opportunity. Former teammate of mine managed the G League night team. Now the Clippers did get a win tonight. What did you make of, of Kawhi Leonard's comments saying across the board, we have to be consistent for us to win a championship? The Clippers organization, you got to be more consistent. You already lost a championship opportunity last year where you were clearly one of the favorites. Now what are you going to do?